What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to my crypto journey. My name is Rodney and Saitama, having a huge breakout to the upside right now. Now, we are doing a little bit of a pullback because this was a sharp increase, and we're pulling back right now as we speak, right? But we graced the 45 range. Now, yesterday I made a video about how Saitama actually fell below a key support level at the 38 range, went down to another key support level, and bounced right back up, consolidated, and had a huge breakout. Now, shout out to Teddy, big friend of the channel, for giving us this resource last night, and he said, Said, hey, this is a bullish candlestick pattern. It was an inverted hammer. He called it last night on the four hour chart. So we're like, well, okay. So, and sure enough, sure enough, this morning we saw this pattern right here, the huge upside breakout, right? After this falling wedge, huge breakout to the upside. Now, TA is only correct 70 to 80% of the time, even if you're the best person. And this thing pulling back as we speak right now, right? So we have to keep in mind what the sentiment of the market is right now. What is the news? Because a lot of the market is ran by emotion, right? Keep in mind, like, Nothing was wrong with Tesla. Elon Musk goes on Joe Rogan's show, ends up smoking a you know what, right, on the show. And the price of Tesla starts to tank. It's like nothing happened with Tesla. Nothing's wrong with Tesla. It's just the CEO of the company was smoking something on Joe Rogan's show. So people associated that with something bad, freaked out. A lot of the Tesla stock sold that day, which is crazy, right? So the market is ran and based off emotion. So what's going on with Saitama? There's no news right now, right? So we have to just look at the TA, right? Not a lot of news going on, except for the fact that maybe some people are allowed now to use Satamask. I still can't use it. I put a, a, a poll out yesterday. Now I only have 2000 followers, right? And I only got 200 votes. Um, so not a huge sample size, but it looks like only 76 percent, excuse me, only 23% of people can still use the app. And most of these people, it doesn't even work properly for them, you know, so that does suck. We're still waiting on that to happen. It's been eight days um, and we're still waiting for a working app. Now, what does the future for Saitama look like? Well, I think once the app is fully functional and it it's smooth and those sorts of things, I think we'll pump back towards the sevens or eight. Now, I don't think we'll get to all time highs unless this app is just super 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 good right it's everything they're talking about it will be if it's like that it will pump back towards all-time high right but for right now it looks like Saitama is just doing its thing becoming very predictable becoming a day traders and swing traders delight because they're able to call this thing you know easy right so we're gonna have to see what happens we're gonna have to see what happens um I'm very very interested in this story right people think I hate Saitama people think I love Saitama it's neither here nor there I don't like the fanboy cultist community. I think that they're a PR nightmare, but the app can still be good. Now, this channel is called My Crypto Journey. So of course, we're going to be learning about all this TA and those sorts of things. And we're going to keep becoming better at crypto, becoming more of a powerhouse at crypto. That's why I started this portfolio as a kind of, and we're down today, right? But as kind of a, you know, an example, like, hey guys, if, when you make a lot of money from these tokens that really have no use case, sometimes it's a good idea to put some of that money in some of these top 50 uh, tokens and coins right because these guys already have established products they're already up and running and yes they're not as exciting as these guys but you guys have to get rid of the mentality of I'm gonna get rich now I'm gonna get rich today or this week and think and, and just be like hey you know maybe I'll get rich in a couple of years maybe I'll get rich in, t in 10 years I think that's the right mentality to have and maybe when you think like that maybe you'll hit big on one of these tokens or any of these tokens and coins right but you have to think have that long-term mentality when it comes to cryptocurrency my biggest criticism of this space is that it's just a huge echo chamber of people who are just saying, yep, you're going to get rich tomorrow. Like maybe they're not saying it, but they say ridiculous things that imply that, hey, if you just invest your last $500 that you need for rent into this token, right, that I'm promoting, well, then you're going to be rich. And I just think that's a bad message to send. And that's why I do not like the fanboy cultist echo chamber community for that reason, because I think it's poison to the new investor. And a lot of people think I hate on Saitama and those sorts of things. No, it's the cult around them, right? Cultish echo chamber, a bunch of influencers around them that I really don't like. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. What do you think about these videos? Do you like this style of video? Um, Saitama is definitely an interesting story that we love to cover on this channel. Um, a lot of drama, a lot of storylines and just a fun time to be in crypto in general. So let me know what you think in the comments down below and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.